why you want to know about it? How much they know about diabetes? And how do you diagnose and go ahead about it? Okay? So, uh, can I ask you, why you want to know about diabetes? What, what exactly makes you, uh, you know, uh, would like to be interested in or try you know, in the future you might be practicing as a diabetic, consultant diabetologist in the field of the diet. What makes you to think that this is important? So diabetes now it is a day to day, I mean it's very commonly coming first. Yes. Yes. Secondly, uh, sir it is, uh, complications are uh, very much there. Yes. And if it is controlled in early stage I can avoid the complication my patient will be. Okay, fair enough. <coughs> so as I kick off my talk, I would like to thank all the office bearers of the session, Amir, Dr. Samir and everybody. My friends Dr. Arvan and Dr. Lumpur were responsible for giving me a motion of this kind of presentation. All of you with the injuries and the regrets here. And of course my wife, Dr. Shilpa, she is asking this. Unless you like to have one point in my agenda for you. All right. Okay, let us know about Diabetes Day. The World Diabetes Day is 14th November. Okay, 14th November is the World Diabetes Day, celebrated as the birthday of Dr. Benting, who invented insulin. Okay, and Dr. Benting invented insulin and he discovered insulin, and insulin was discovered, invented in 1921. Okay, then a patient called John Leonard who received the first shot of insulin. Now before 1921, anybody who was diagnosed to have a type 1 diabetes, after the diagnosis, the lifespan was less than 6 weeks to 8 weeks, I imagine. And after the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, the lifespan of the patient used to be less than years. And this is what happened before 1921. People had n number of majors. If you go back to the history, you will really find out from ads to analogs. Right? It's a very popular website where you get all of the history of the development of the diabetic drugs and OHA and how they were invented. Okay? So the theme for the Diabetes Day from 2009 to 2013 is Diabetes Education and Prevention. And that's the reason why we are on here. Okay. It marks the celebration of the birthday of Dr. Fletcher Grant Benting, who was a physiologist, who was a physiologist, working as an assistant to a surgeon. Okay? He was a physiologist who was working as an assistant to a surgeon. And where insulin was invented? Which country? Anybody knows? Canada, Toronto. Okay? So we go all over the Toronto. Everywhere you will find the impact of the printing. Every place you will find the impact of the printing. Okay? The website. You can just Google diabetes from ants to analogs. Okay? And this is what I was lucky to visit. This was Toronto General Hospital where in the physiology there, the insulin was invented. In 1921, it looked like this. Today, it looks like this. 2009, October 2009, I shot myself this photograph. I was lucky enough to get an opportunity to visit this place and give me what is awesome. Okay? Right. So today's agenda will be a brief reality about diabetes, global and Indian. Diagnose of diabetes, how do you diagnose diabetes? When you label the patient to have that, please. Our team players will be your OHS and some of the Right? As you know, that is a complex metabolic disorder. It is a disorder of fat, protein, carbohydrate. As a whole, it is not only a sugar metabolism which is disturbed. According to the disease syndrome, that is, is a complex metabolic disorder which involves all this, right, from impaired insulin secretion, insulin resistance, micro and macrovascular complications, obesity, dyslipidemia, hypertension, everything. 
but the heart of it, now here I am talking about type 2 diabetes. Whenever I am talking in this session, you should consider that I am talking about type 1 diabetes till time I am telling you because we are talking about OHS. Okay? And in India, I was just reading someone's reference here. He has quoted around 95% of the, uh, 85% of people are of type, type 2 diabetes. He is not 85, it is 95% of people in India are type 2 diabetes. Okay? The crux of the defect is insulin resistance syndrome. Okay? And what is this insulin resistance is like? Unfortunately, this is not animated properly here because I'm stop there. But if this is insulin, and this is a cell where insulin is trying to enter. Look at this, this fellow is not allowing the entire insulin in the cell. Okay, because of the receptor defects, glucose does not go to the cell. I am sorry for this. It is very really clear that insulin tries to put sugar inside the cell, and this fellow is not allowing the entry of sugar inside the cell. So, what happens? What happens that you have got a pool of sugar outside the cell, <coughs> but still the cells are starving. Okay? You have got a pool of sugar outside the cell, but still the cells are starving. That causes what? That starts the breakage of fats, proteins, everything. Because the energy has to work. So if sugar is not working, what will work? The fat package will be there, the protein package will be there for the production of the air. Right? <coughs> Beyond times quoted, diabetes is now seen as the biggest killer than AIDS. And that's the reason why you like to know about diabetes. Okay? Right. <coughs> and how I am correct? Just look at this. A very interesting graph. And you will really see that what I say is correct. Now, if you just look at the development of the medicine, and the general behavior of the diseases, you will see that as from 1980 towards the end of this century, from you know, uh, the 20th or 21st century, you, you really had noticed that there is a distinct fall in the major cardiovascular disease related mortality. There was a fall in all cause mortality. People were living slightly longer than they used to live before. What was beautiful was cancer mortality has also started going down, especially from last decade. But look at the diabetes mortality. Just look at it. We are in the 22nd century. Look at what is happening still. We are still struggling to get this daily terrorist on the country. That's the reason why we should know a little more about it. So, please pardon me if I am using some slightly harsh language here, but after having a good time with his girlfriend while leaning off, the boy noticed a picture of a good smart little guy on the girl's dressing table and puzzled and suspicious boy asked, who is she? So, who is he? Hmm? You are he? Not really. I am not married yet. Again he asked, not convinced, boy asked, don't hide anything from me, come on, tell me. Your ex boyfriend? No, it's not. Still pursuing your stop being there and there. The girl said, That's exactly how I looked before Sunday. <laughs> what is changing? Right? It's not a me. Look at the way we are progressing. The really world is changing. Okay? From these guys, what we have done? Look at the changing portions, our appetites are changing, our habits are changing. Look at the sizes in 1954 to 2004. Look at the sizes. Just see. We are just eating because it is available. Okay? That's the reason why.